Morning, everyone. Welcome to Ainsley News. It's Wednesday, the 27th of April. Jorg Kainer, the gold is the bargain of the century at current spot levels. Speaking on Bloomberg Asia, founding partner at Swiss Asia Capital Singapore dropped a number of bombshells in the live interview. In a case of the tail wagging the dog, outside silver futures and options leverage outnumber the physical metal more than 100 is to 1. The futures market was initially conceived as a way for users of the physical to hedge risk and maintain a consistent cost basis. Kainer points out that the price of the actual physical is defined by movements in the derivatives market as opposed to the actual physical trade on the ground. In his analysis of the supply-demand fundamentals on the ground, supply levels haven't been this low in 20 years. This is leading major industrials to seek out direct agreements with miners and refiners to guarantee their own supply, as opposed to purchasing on the open market. So he's covered in last Friday's news, the supply deficit is the largest in 20 years. As per the Silver Institute's supply and demand report, there were just over a billion troy ounces of silver mined in 2021. In contrast, in 2021, there are more than 325 billion ounces traded across the various derivatives and auction exchanges globally. That's a rate of approximately 325 is to 1 for all derivatives that traded to the supply produced in 2021. Clearly, price discovery is happening on the paper market. Base metal inventories are quickly running out despite increasing global demand. Zinc, in particular, is seeing smelters shut down at a time when inventories are already low. The biggest byproduct of zinc is none other than silver. Pure play silver mines outside of Latin America have already been shuttered, and now the byproduct supply is also being constrained. As silver is essential to strategic applications such as the energy grid, military hardware, and green technologies, people are focusing increasingly on physical silver as opposed to the paper version of it. We may have seen the window into the future with the nickel price blowing up on the London Metal Exchange and the London Metal Exchange announcing they will be exiting the precious metal futures by July. The cracks are starting to appear. Finally, of, of all the metals markets, gold at present spot prices is the bargain of a century as five-figure gold will be needed to stabilise global markets in a new currency realignment. Kinda argues that Putin has booked price support around the US $1,920 level. If this really is the bottom, there is reduced risk for investors who want protection in a period where safe haven demand is likely to continue to rise. Silver and gold are both in backwardation. The rates charged for taking delivery from ETFs is rising, and when delivery does take place, the wait time for large quantities is ramping up. Speaking from Singapore, Kainer argues that very little gold is coming onto the market in physical form as it goes straight into the treasuries of BRIC countries. That said, the physical metal is still piling into investment depositories. In just the last week, there was net 712,000 troy ounces of gold, a net 5,348,000 troy ounces of silver, all added to known depositories, ETFs and mutual funds. Wow, metals are still moving. And that's news for today, everyone. Jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au for all things physical. You can purchase gold, silver or platinum. Interested in crypto, jump over to ainsleywealth.com.au and goldsilverstandard.com for our own crypto that we've built and backed by real gold and silver. You can also check out our NFT range there as well. Enjoy your day, everyone. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.